what's up my real fam i'm back with another sexuality type video <laughs> you know i have not been able to meet anyone on my level you're probably thinking level what do you mean level what do you mean on your level you know everybody says that everybody says that you remember that old song Get on my level. everybody claims that they can't or nobody's on their level but only you know what your level is only you know who you are and what kind of people you want around you and that's my issue i already know i'll complain about this many times i can't find anybody who wants to be an actual friend to me i can't find anybody who actually resonates with me as far as um um spiritual growth i guess spiritually i can't find anybody to resonate with me and that's just hard you know it's kind of funny that I've, I've found more men online that resonate me i mean resonate with me more than women do that's ridiculous but it is what it is i have seen more men that resonate with me spiritually than um women and it reminds me of high school because back in high school I got along with men more than women and that's still the case that's unfortunate because you already know most men just as if they you know they only come off and they portray they only want sex from a woman and they kind of push that way after some time but you know I can't say all men are like that because no they are not all men are not like that but I have not been able to find a woman who is quote unquote on my level. I ain't found it, yo. Like, <laughs> it's hard. I can't. Oh, well, that's it. <clears throat> I have not been able to find anybody that does. So, I've just been still lonely as always, you know? Um, the main thing I've been trying to do right now regarding that is just stay away from trying to find somebody to date because y'all ain't got the time. I don't have the time anymore. I haven't been really looking. I've been, I have not been actively looking. I have not been, I've been on the sidelines somewhat looking, just hoping. But now I'm just hoping that someone drops into my lap and I don't have to look very far because you know what they say. A lot of times you're looking for something. If you're doing what you're supposed to do anyway, it will just fall right into your lap. A lot of times that is the case. That has been always true. That's how I met my husband. We weren't looking. We just fell right into each other's laps. And there it was. Love at first sight. <laughs> so I'm hoping. Um, I'm still hoping it will be the same way with a woman. If this poly thing is meant for me. If this poly thing is meant for us to do and explore. Then it will happen. The right woman will just somehow pop up Dude, that's my that's what i'm hoping right now that's always been my logic like i've always been kind of thinking about that and just hoping that'll happen but you know now it's not a focus you know there's one thing if you you want something it's kind of like being single to where it's like oh yeah i'm just a lonely old helpless hopeless romantic and you're just going about life doing what you're supposed to do hoping for someone to fall in your lap and that's all you do you just go about life doing what you're supposed to do doing the best you can in life being a good person blah 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 and raising your vibrations and hopefully the right mate will come to you that's how it should be in my opinion but hey that that's not always the case for everybody because you know people out here walling out in the wrong place at the wrong time and then they wonder why they can't find a good spouse you know so like i said i have not been i haven't found anybody who really really vibrates with me i thought i did in the past or was i did wrong there are a couple of women i met i thought we were um great spiritually on a spiritual level and possibly something else but it did not work out that way i had to get rid of said women i had to block them and just not deal with them because <laughs> yikes and it's hard. Y'all know it's hard. You know why it's hard. It's hard because as a black woman, y'all know 
what most black women are into. Most black women don't know how to treat anybody. They don't know how to treat anybody but themselves. Oh, and barely that. Um, we have been messed up from slavery. We don't know how to treat one another. We don't know how to love one another. Black women don't know how to love black men. Black men don't know how to love black women. You feel me? And that's just always been a thing. That's always going to be an issue until we as a whole, as a collective, start coming together and raising our vibrations. We got to become more, I don't like saying woke because I hate that damn term. Everybody keeps saying that. We have to become more spiritually inclined, I guess. We have to go inside of ourselves more and figure out why we can't find a decent spouse. And if you're poly, why can't you find that? third person why can't you find that next spouse for you why can't you you know and it's an inner battle i know it really is because i've been dealing with the same inner battle for a long time now y'all know i've been by for a while and I've, i came out a while ago i think i came out when i was like 27 or 28 i don't remember exactly but that's when i came out as being by and i came out as poly kind of around the same time and it's been a struggle. I'm 34, y'all. I'm going to be 35 next year. I'm going to be 35 next year. And I ain't found nobody decent yet. But again, I'm not looking, you know? And it's not like the work is all on me. Because right now, I don't feel like looking. I don't have the time to look. My husband, he's definitely not looking. <laughs> y'all heard his opinion on that one video. Where we talked about what we want as far as this poly thing and what... He really believes about it and, and what it stands for and all that jazz. So it's like, neither one of us are really looking. We don't have time. We have five kids to raise. And I know it's another reason why somebody hasn't popped up because we have five kids to raise. And mind you, we're homeschooling them. They're going to be always home. So the other spouse might not want to deal with that. The next woman... I don't want to deal with that. And I already accepted that. I'm already ready. I'm already ready for women to just come out and be like, five kids, I don't want to deal with that. Because some people have subtly told me in the past. But I already know it is what it is. Again, there's a... No, not again. I didn't say this before. There's a collective thinking where women don't really want kids like that. Whether it's their own or not their own. They just don't want to deal with kids. There's a huge rise of selfishness going on. Even in the poly community, people just want to have all the sex they want with no kids around. They don't even want to produce kids. They want to be on birth control. They don't want any the mere mention of kids. And to me, that's really selfish. All that fucking, I mean, what is it for? Procreation. Birth control should not even exist. But you know what? I'm not getting on that soapbox. I'm not here for that. I am not here for that. But you know what? It's all good. But anyway poly thing i haven't found anybody because i haven't found any i haven't found anybody who resonates with me and neither has my husband to be honest i have not found it oh well so until then i'm just gonna keep living breathing hoping maybe she'll come about if not oh well i'm not gonna die you know it is what it is so uh, that, I believe that's all I have to say. These fucking mosquitoes biting shit on my legs. <sighs> anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. Week, second, month, hour, and s a minute. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Peace out.